Buona giornata to you out there in YouTube land. This is Ollie here at visordown.com with another brand new motorcycle to feast your eyes upon. Not only that, we reckon this could go down as one of the biggest and most significant launches of 2021 because not only is this a new Ducati, which of course is always reason to celebrate, not only is it all new from the ground up, but it is the Italian Mark's first proper foray into the adventure off-road market. Meet the Desert X, seen here frolicking in, well, the desert, which is Ducati's brand spanking new attempt at tackling the adventure market, where it will go head-to-head -head with the Triumph Tiger 900, Honda Africa Twin, and the very recently launched MV Augusta Lucky Explorer 9.5. Now, before you say it, we know Ducati has gotten its tire treaded boots a little dirty before, but this is the first time it has pushed its whole foot into the muddy water, an occasion it has marked by developing an entirely new platform. This model was the much anticipated crescendo to Ducati's six episode web series of premieres that have run since October, with the Desert X emerging over the Dunes two years on from a prototype concept of the model being revealed at the 2019 ICMA show. Spurred on by the positive public reaction, Ducati opted to put it into production and, being Ducati, it hasn't done things by halves. Inspired by the no-nonsense honed rally raiders that competed in the Paris-Dakar rally during the 1980s and 1990s, the Ducati Desert X remains very faithful to the original concept. Starred at Ducati's Centro style, the silhouette is upright, slim and chunky, with a look emboldened by the predominantly white colorway finish that we think admittedly, could only be enhanced by a big Lucky Strike logo being slapped onto the side. Though Ducati wanted the Desert X to look simple yet sturdy, there are some interesting design flourishes that break away from the Ducati mold, not least those two very distinctive twin circular LED headlights. Described as having plenty of off-road attitude, these rather gorgeous shots from the sands of the United Arab Emirates certainly suggest the Desert X won't be left behind when the going gets rough, though we'll have to wait to find out how it tackles the rather more boggy climbs of the UK to be sure. It has achieved this with an all-new steel trellis frame, which works with a dedicated long travel suspension settings and 21-inch front wheel and 18-inch rear wheel to iron out rocky surfaces and remain stable should you happen to live near a sand dune. Even so, Ducati maintains the Desert X upholds its reputation for sportiness on the road, with a modest 220 kilograms of weight ensuring it remains responsive and easy to approach on asphalt. At its heart is a 937cc Testa Stretta engine from the Monster and Multistrada V2, delivering 110 brake horsepower at 9,250 rpm and 92Nm of torque at 6,500 rpm. From the rider's seat, the Desert X has been optimised to ensure comfort on-road and capability off it, with the riding position assisted by an adjustable saddle and the opportunity to remove the pillion seat. While the dashboard, which is smartly cowled within the front fascia that morphs into the headlight cluster, is taller than most so it can be seen while riding standing up. Six riding modes will be offered with enduro riding mode and rally riding mode included among the standard sport, touring, urban and wet settings, while full, high, medium and low power modes are also available. The Ducati Desert X will be available from May 2022 and will be offered in a lower powered A2 version too with prices to be announced near at a time. So that's that. Is the Ducati Desert X in the running for the most significant launch of 2021? Well, there are still a few weeks to go before we ring in the new year. So just to be sure, make sure you like and subscribe for more audio, visual, motorcycle marvelousness from us here at Visor Down. Ciao for now.